It was nothing I was looking for. But there she was. A purple Subaru with pink polka dots. 1993. Stick shift. I didn't even know how to drive stick, but something just felt right. 700 dollars later, to Durango we went, and for three years we roamed together. And with all the good and bad of living in a car, she became my home. Whenever I would stay over at friends' houses or go visit my parents, I would still sleep in my car. It was my space, my safety net. Eventually, I moved to Salida, and bit by bit, I upgraded living situations. There was the car still, but then a 12-foot travel trailer, and then my first apartment. I could go to the bathroom at night without having to go outside. I could eat ice cream and put it back in the freezer and not have to eat it all at once. A refrigerator, a toilet, a laundry machine. I could stand up in my bedroom. Each small convenience felt like the biggest luxury. And now, two years have passed and dusk is falling. I sit in my driver's seat on the return trip to Durango. The engine has seized for the second time, and I'm slowly starting to accept it. It's the death call. I didn't ever think this day would come. I thought we'd be together forever, a home that I could always count on. My tears have soaked into the seats, and I'm all out. My head hurts from crying. I remember the last moment we had together, as the tow truck driver dropped her into the Durango junkyard. The sun was high, the shadows were right underneath her, and she sat empty next to all the other gutted-out Subarus. Her future? Maybe. I hug my car, my home, the best I can, and after lingering a while, I have to turn around and leave. An unknown future lies ahead. One without my sweet car and all the adventures that we had together. And though I'm afraid, I hold on to what she taught me. I can make home out of anywhere. Even a polka-dotted 1993 Subaru that I can't sit up in. So it's on to a new season of life. <laughs>